It's an exciting time to be a football fan in the OVC. 2013 saw three OVC teams make the FCS playoffs, a Walter Payton Award winner, 18 players with All-American honors, and four drafted to the NFL. With that success, schools around the conference have and are continuing to make significant upgrades to their football facilities to ensure future success. Facilities upgrades and renovations can be seen throughout the OVC. Jacksonville State, in 2010, finalized construction on their $47 million football stadium expansion, the largest upgrade in the conference, which pushed its stadium capacity to 24,000 and included 33 luxury skyboxes, a club level, and modern press box and broadcast facilities. I think our facilities are about as good as uh, anybody's, you know, uh, in, in the country FCS-wise as far as, you know, our environment at home game and how our stands look and how our press box is. You know, I, I think we match up right along with FCS programs. And, you know, we feel comfortable where we're at and, and where we match up with people. Tennessee Tech in 2011 opened their new state-of-the-art athletic performance center, which featured over 25,000 square feet of space for strength training, indoor practice, and locker rooms for their student-athletes. 21-time OVC champion Eastern Kentucky University also upgraded their football stadium with the installation of a 15-by-30-foot high-definition scoreboard at Roy Kidd Stadium prior to the 2013 season. Most recently, Austin Peay State University renovated the entire west side of their stadium with $19 million in upgrades including a state-of-the-art locker room for the governor's student athletes and coaches, club-level seating, skyboxes, cheerback seating for the fans, and a new merchandise store. This is sort of a turning point for us because they see that the institution is now committed to making sure that uh, we participate at the highest possible levels. It's a change in attitude, a change in sort of focus on what we want to be and what we think we can be as student athletes here at Austin P. If you walk through this facility, what you'll see is a big commitment to our past. I believe that if you want to build that culture of excellence, you have to respect the past. We've built into the stadium uh, different components of respecting all the players that have ever played here. And we have bullards that sort of recognize each decade of the history of Austin P and put the names of everybody that played here. We want this stadium to, to tell a story. To, we built it with a spirit in mind, uh, not just building brick and mortar, but the identity and the character that you built into these facilities um, tell the story about where we're going to go as a great institution. OVC institutions continue to plan for additional upgrades to their facilities as well. Eastern Kentucky has plans for future growth, which includes a $15 million multi-purpose facility to replace the visitor side grandstands, set to include classrooms, a nutrition and dietetics center, football locker room, coaches' offices, and training facilities. Construction on the EKU facility is scheduled to be completed prior to the 2016 football season. Additionally, UT Martin in October announced plans for facility upgrades. Plans to renovate Hardy M. Graham Stadium following the completion of the 2015 football season are currently in development. This renovation project will include a new four-story structure that will accommodate media, hospitality, visitors and officials' locker rooms, concessions, and a food service management classroom space. The OVC's commitment to FCS football has never been more evident than in recent years. As member institutions continue to invest in their facilities, the Ohio Valley Conference continues to build one of the premier conferences in FCS football.